Beloved in Christ, our understanding, our insight to understanding God's Word today comes from Jonah 1, 4, and 6. God's words read, But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship that Jonah was on was like to be broken. Then the mariners were afraid, or sailors, and cried every man unto his God, and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea to lighten it of them. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship, and he lay and was fast asleep. So the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy God, if so be that God will think upon us that we perish not. Beloved, when I think about Jonah in his deep sleep in that ship, and Jesus' deep sleep in the bottom of the ship that he was, they were contrasting versions of rest. Jonah was resting because he was tired of basically running from the Lord. Jesus was resting because he was resting in the fate and trust of his Father. And no matter how the ship tossed to and fro, Jesus was just okay. And here was Jonah, full of distress, but yet he was sleeping. Many times, beloved, when we lay our heads to sleep, instead of getting the rest in faith as Jesus did, we have the rest of stress like Jonah was doing. And beloved, you and I ought to know the difference because God desired to give us rest in our sleep rather than to be distressed even while we sleep. And here was Jonah because he was running uh, from the Lord. And beloved, the Lord desired for us to wake and do the work of the Lord. Many Christians today are asleep. They're sleepwalking. They go to church, they give, and they believe that is fulfilling their obligation. And beloved, it is not. Because God told us to go out into the world and preach and share the gospel. That is the fulfillment of the great commission that God has for us to do. And so, beloved, when we are in a position as Jonah was, he literally calls distress upon those who was there with him. And we cause distress in other people's lives because we sometimes decide not to fulfill God's purpose for our lives. Beloved, Jonah was equipped to do the work of God, but he refused to do it. There's a dying world out there. You ask to ask yourself that question. Should you be awakened today to do God's will and God's bidding in this earth? You may not be one who share the gospel on a continuous basis, but beloved, you are to support those who do so. So that way the gospel will continue. So beloved, we all are a part of the great work that God is doing in the earth. But we have to be willing to know and realize that we are 
part of the body of Christ. Here was Jonah running away, hiding, and now sleeping in this stress. Beloved, how do you sleep? Are you sleeping with true rest? Or are you resting in distress? Beloved, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord guide your very steps this day in Jesus' name.